Hello everyone. This is a demo of my implementation of Jan's algorithm, the most efficient way to solve the convex hull problem. This, as we know, comes by combining both the Graham scan and the Jarvis March algorithms. I have used matplotlib in Python to animate this algorithm step by step. We will now look at an example run of 30 points. It now prompts the user to generate these points randomly or mark them manually on the matplotlib canvas. So let's generate them randomly for now. So I'll select 2. Now in the next step, we choose the value of m, which is the group size that is used in the chance algorithm. So let's start with the group size of 8 for now. And here we get a set of 30 randomly generated points on the matplotlib canvas. Let's click to continue. Firstly, we'll divide all the points into smaller groups of size m each, and then we run the Graham scan algorithm on each of these groups. The light purple lines, as you can see over here, show the computation of the upper hull, and the light green lines over here shows the computation of the lower hull. Next, we move on to the Jarvis March step. We take the mini hulls and plug them into the Jarvis March, which is the gift wrapping algorithm. The yellow line over here shows the binary search over the tangents in log m time. Therefore, we are able to compute a convex hull of convex hulls in n log h time, where h is the size of output. Now we will see a complete run of all the iterations. So I will run this code again for the same set of 30 points. We will get the same points because I have seeded the numpy value. Now we will select random points and enter the value of m as 0 to see all the iterations. So it starts with m equal to 2. It finds convex hulls of size 2 and then it will start with the Jarvis March step of the chance algorithm. It was not able to find the full convex hull at m equal to 2, so it moves on to m equal to 4 now. Again, it was not able to find the convex hull for m equal to 4, so we move on to m equal to 16 now. This gives us the final convex hull. Therefore, the algorithm will terminate here and we get the final convex hull at m equal to 16. One of the interesting things that I noted was that while computing the tangent between a convex hull and an extreme point which is not on that convex hull, we can sometimes end up in a situation where the resulting tangent from the binary search is less extreme than the line joining the current point to the next point on the current group's hull. So I handled this by adding an explicit check at the end of the binary search by using two left tests. So as you can see in the figure here, uh, shown in black is what the output would have been had this check not been in place. So we can clearly see that the convex hull comprises of the points 0, 8, 6, 9, 2, 10, 7 and back to 0, which is obtained when we join 8 to 6, which is the next point in the same convex hull 